Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Pure Piano and Pure Piano Upright. Pure Upright and Pure Piano from E Instruments. Right, okay, so this has now been updated with something that's super cool. Uh, it's Sympathetic Resonance and also Silent Key. To understand what this is, um, you have to know a little bit about the mechanics of uh, a real piano. All real pianos ever made, ever, <laughs> have sympathetic resonance. It's kind of, you can't avoid it. It's always there. And all it means is that uh, how a piano works, right? If you press a key, what's happening is the damper is lifted off that string and the hammer strikes the string like that. Okay, as soon as you release the string, the damper is reapplied and the hammer comes away, right? Now you can hear, if I strike these keys quite hard, you'll hear that noise in the background, that's resonance. But because the damper is on all the other keys, you don't hear sympathetic resonance, right? Sympathetic resonance happens when you play a key like this and then you keep that key held down and you play another key. So for example, I'm playing an A, so an octave above that would be. And you still hear the resonance, but you're not hearing sympathetic resonance because this is a digital instrument. And it's very difficult, it's, well, it's very rare to find digital pianos that have sympathetic resonance kind of already built in. However, E instruments have done this. So look, you'll hear this clearly now. If I go to settings, you will see two new things, sympathetic resonance, which I have turned off, and silent key velocity. Now, if I have this at no velocity at all and I start playing very, very, very softly, you'll still hear the key. It's You'll hear key noise as well because I, if I look in, in my... Um, well, where is it? Let's see. Uh, it's in here, I think. Yeah. My mechanics, I have the volume turned up for the resonance, the pedal noise and the key noise. All, all the mechanics are turned up. So, for instance, if I press my pedal, you'll hear that, right? So you can control the volume of that here. Now, <clears throat> listen, if... Silent key, what you can do with a real piano is if I take this up to say something like 17 and I just start to press keys on very gently on my keyboard, now I'm now holding down an A minor chord and you can't hear that. But if you can think about this, all the dampers for the A, the C and the E have now been lifted off. So those strings are free to resonate with another note. So if I play now, a, um, A above, you won't hear anything because I've got sympathetic resonance turned off, right? So I'm holding down that A minor, although you can't hear it. I'll play the A. But listen to what happens when I switch sympathetic resonance on. So I'm still holding the A minor, okay? Although, you, you know, it's all faded away now anyway. <clears throat> I'm now going to play an octave above that A minor. You hear that? That's sympathetic resonance. I'm still holding that A minor. Now, if I change the A minor to an F, I'll still play it very gently because I've got silent key. So anything below velocity of 17 won't trigger a note. But now I'm playing an F. And if I play an A, and different notes above and I I'll add in another note now an E and then maybe go to some strange chord on the black keys see not all notes are in sympathy are in sympathy with the notes that have been played so they won't resonate the same so for example I'm playing an F a B, an F sharp, a B flat, a C sharp, and an E flat, and I'm going to strike this A flat above that. No resonance. If I strike the B flat, which is part of the chord I'm playing, and then an E, 
and some other notes, you'll hear the sympathetic resonance, right? Okay. Another thing is, is if I, if I press the sustain pedal, what that's effectively, effectively doing is lifting off the damper of every single key. So now when I play, everything's going to just... And then put the damper back on. And it sounds different if I switch sympathetic resonance off. It's not as natural as a real piano. Because there's no sympathetic resonance been applied because all the dampers are off. So even though you can hear the notes, if you play a velocity above 17, sympathetic resonance is still occurring. And all acoustic pianos have this. They can't be, it, it's just a natural phenomena of having strings. It's just that you can hear it much better if we just use silent key. I mean, you could go right up if you want to just hold, uh, let's hold a B flat and then strike a B flat note. And you can try it in different places, you know, let's hold a, maybe a C5. I'm just press the C5 key. You can't hear it because of the velocity, but you can hear the release. And that's the, the note if I press it harder. But if I just hold that key and do nothing else and now start to play notes below that. You hear the sympathetic resonance. Okay, so that's what it is. And it sounds rather nice when you hold a silent chord. So I maybe I'll play this E flat. I'll throw an F in as well. So here we go. And this would happen on a real piano. It's unavoidable. That's why all pianos sound different. That's your sympathetic resonance there. And you can hear it better when you do hard struck notes and you're still holding a chord. So hold a chord anywhere. It doesn't matter. Or one note or two notes. Or I'll just put my whole hand across the top octave. So I'm holding down um, eight notes here. Uh, yep, I'm holding down eight notes, which includes a C octave right at the top. So now I'll just start it. In fact, I'll lower the velocity now. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's go back there a sec. Lower this velocity to um about there and i'll start bashing notes down the bottom end of the keyboard but i've still got every single key pushed down from i don't know c5 to c6 so in effect theoretically if it was a physical piano all the dampers would have been now taken off those keys so they're those strings are free to resonate with anything i push down here And I'll go higher up on everything. So that's sympathetic resonance and why you should i mean you know you if you have the, it you will still get sympathetic resonance even if your velocity is on zero there's nothing to do with that it's just that silent key is a nice effect say for instance you want the sympathetic resonance to come through on the notes you're playing but dependent on what color
chord you decide to play silently so i'll i'll just play this uh, g minor but you won't hear it because i'll pre i'll play it very softly so now i have my g minor pressed and i can sort of Of course, if I now take off every single damper by pressing the sustain pedal, every note is just going to sustain. And the effect will be completely different. I'm holding down this F chord again, so make it an F7, and <clears throat> I'm just going to play notes at the top without the sympathetic resonance. You don't, it's not as natural. Put the sympathetic resonance in. So it's not something that you can program into a piano. Piano manufacturers can't make it go away. They can't stop it. So it makes sense. To have it built in. Okay, so let me close out Pure Piano. Now you know how it works, of course. It works exactly the same on <clears throat> pure piano here. So let's give it a bit of a bit of gain so you can hear the mechanical stuff going on. So it's natural, right? So we open up pure piano here. Go here and go to and this is where you can control your velocity, your ordinary velocity response. Okay, so this is basically soft, so. Right, let's go here to our controls. Let's turn our mechanics up. Turn my microphone down so you can hear this. And I'll turn the resonance up so you can hear the sympathetic resonance better. Okay. So, I mean, I find this stuff fascinating, you know. I was, I learned to play, um, not that I'm some sort of brilliant pianist or anything like that, but I learned to play on an, an old acoustic piano my dad bought. And we used to take the, the thing, the front lid off and all the rest of it, and like you do. And you learn a little bit how the mechanics work. So... Let's go into our settings and you'll see that I have sympathetic resonance turned on. The default silent key velocity is seven. It's extremely difficult to play a key and not make a sound. Even if I play very softly, just about made it on that F. But <clears throat> if you have this set up a little bit higher, I can still play softly. It's much easier for me to place a finger on a note or an octave, right, without it making any sound. Silent keys, you can do this on a on a, a real piano, obviously, just very gently press the keys. And then start striking other notes above. And that's sympathetic resonance again, so turn it off. See, it's gone. And then we turn it back on. It just adds to a more realistic playing experience, right? So with those settings on and bearing in mind, we have our, our grid here where we can change. Let's just play around. Now, you will, it's, you wouldn't normally 
most piano pieces, although all those pianos you're hearing from classical recordings or people like any musicians who are using real pianos, the, the acoustic resonance is there. In fact, I'm going to just go and sort out my, sorry, my velocity here, which is a bit much. That's a bit better. Maybe don't need so much gain now. So now you understand what sympathetic, sympathetic resonance is in relationship to acoustic pianos. You're going to experience a much better playing experience with pure piano or pure or pure upright, of course. Now you'll hear less of an effect once you start to bring in other effects of course. It's still there if I if I silently hold an A minor chord, almost silently, and then start. The resonance is the sympathetic resonance is still there, but now you've got it mixed in with. It's really interesting stuff. So understanding that when you press keys on a piano, on a real acoustic piano, on a, a real instrument, a grand piano or a baby grand or whatever you like, what, what's actually happening is when you press a key, very lightly, all it's doing is the hammer is working, but it's not got enough velocity to, to hit the string hard enough for you to hear it. But it what it is doing is lifting the damper off the string. So when you play another note somewhere else, that other string is free. Let's do this, take it there. Is free to resonate in sympathy with certain other notes related to the chord or key you play. Now I'm just playing an F chord now, silently higher up. So I've just placed another couple of keys fingers on keys and now I can check if I change the silent chord then the actual resonance will change as well so guys, brilliant, thank you very much. If you've watched this video premiere, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting. Pure Piano and Pure Uprights updated today with Sympathetic Resonance and Silent Key, which is gonna add to your realistic piano experience so if it has this oh right there up at the top of the keyboard i'm gonna just hold this well i'll, I'll strike the i'll strike that note but i'll keep hold of the key and now you're getting sympathetic resonance really high up if i go a bit lower of course That's really nice. I'm going to play it for a couple of minutes while you say ta to each other. If you're watching video premiere, thank you very, very much. And I will see you later. Ta-ra.